next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's who is first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting at a Palm Springs, California, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Finish. Oh, straight right. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's take it back. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Got clipped with the right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well timed knee to the body. Hands high, hands 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Now connects with a right. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Just over two minutes to go in the round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Big leg kick lands. And he lands the knee to the body now. Good head movement there. Nice slip. Now a knee to the body. Pretty nice knee there. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots. And if you take one of them, if you get the night that will land it right on the spot. Nice kick. Oh, big left hand there. 30 seconds to go. Take him down. Just unable to quite find that range. Final seconds here. Straight right, he misses. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Oh. Round two here. Lock that kick to the body. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. to go in the round. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Powerful leg kick land. got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there, very nice. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 60 seconds, come on, you got this. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing so and talk to your cup. All 
right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Liver kick. That lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Let's get busy with those hands. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, yeah, right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Defensively, as he blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Liver kick. If you hit those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. Good punch land. Oh, the head kick lands. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Lands flush with that right hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Throws the right hand there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Real nice body kick lands. Control this. 
Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you walk. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Point. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. 90 seconds to go now. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Lee's got his back now. All right, half guard forward here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponents to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, 
punch over the top. Big body kick. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Lands with the ground and pound. Right punches there. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Nice punch lands over the top. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 37 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.